Thanks for watching. This is Chris with Hunt Fish Cook. Appreciate you guys watching our video on tanning and mounting a snake skin. Uh, this is a backup video to our article and uh, we're just gonna try to keep it pretty quick on this. Uh, it's not brain surgery. Um, this is just about uh, taking the snake skin and curing it, mounting it on a board. So here we've got one that um, my son and I did and this is a non-venomous snake by the way. Um, so don't get mad at me, snake apologist, that I killed a non-venomous snake. This was, uh, ran over in, uh, the street, and, uh, my son picked it up, we put it in the freezer, skinned it, um, cured it, and stretched it on this board, um, it's a piece of old, uh, kind of wormy oak, and it looks pretty cool. So, um, here's a quick lesson, uh, if you read our article, it's gonna have links to the stuff that you need, uh, it's gonna have more detail on it, but... Basically, if you've got a snake, get it out of your truck, put it in the freezer, freeze it, whole, head on, whatever. Just get in the freezer. The more it sits outside, the more it's gonna rot, the worse the skin's gonna be. So either freeze it or just get rid of it. Um, when you're ready to skin snakes, I usually have put them in a, a bag in my freezer, um, which is kind of weird because I got a snake bag in my freezer and um, uh, you know, it's weird when you go in the freezer looking for some burgers and there's a bag full of snakes. Uh, but anyway, I got a bag of snakes in my freezer, so whatever. Uh, so I take them out, um, thaw them out, and cut straight down through the belly. Cut the heads off. If they're venomous snakes, I get those heads off of there and throw them away. You don't want to get nicked by a, a fang or... I mean, dead snakes can still envenomate you. It's not poisonous or whatever. I know people argue back and forth on poison versus venomous, but whatever. Um, anyway, cut the freaking head off of it and be done with it. Uh, so I cut down the belly, pull the body out of the skin, scrape that skin with a butter knife or something that your wife is not gonna get mad at you that you use, get the raw meat or anything off of there. Um, and uh, once that snake skin, it has all that meat off there. And snake skins are pretty tough. You gotta imagine, they eat a bunch of stuff, they grow, they expand a lot so scrape it off any meat off the meat will rot and rot sucks so uh scrape it off i roll it up loosely and i put it in a mason jar mixed half and half with uh vegetable glycerin and alcohol rubbing alcohol same thing you have underneath your you know bathroom counter and vegetable glycerin you can check our uh links you buy it on amazon uh 12 bucks for i think a liter or whatever a liter um, so uh, half and half uh, put in there five days I shake it up every day keep it into it keep that in a dark cool place you know and I shake it up every day so the alcohol and glycerin don't mix um, after five days I pull it out dry it with paper towels and uh, this is the cool part um, once it's dry with paper towels I get uh, some twigs <laughs> from the yard so not super tiny not super big and at that point, I take that snake skin and I stretch it out and roll it up on this twig. Roll it this way. I stretch it from left to right and front to back. And you'd be surprised at how uh, much the skin will stretch. And it's weird. The bark kind of holds the skin and will hold it there uh, to kind of stretch the skin for, for a while. You can take a, a snake skin that is this big and stretch it to that big by stretching out on a, kind of a piece of raw wood like this. So I stretch it out, roll it up, um, and then again, put it on a little towel and in a uh, dark, you know, cool, dark place and let it sit for another three days. Uh, and at that point, uh, you're gonna, after that, you're gonna get your snake skin's gonna be tanned, kind of cured and ready to go. All right, so then your skin's good. After that, it's all about math. Find a board that you like. Um, find the middle of the snake skin. Put some tacks in there. These are the tacks that I use. I buy them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere else, some crappy craft store. They're decorative tacks, half inch, 12.7 millimeter iron. And they're legit. I think they're $3.49. I use some sawtooth hangers on the back to hang it, um, like you see on a picture frame, and, uh, and and that's about it. If you got a big, the bigger snake, the bigger the board you got, 
The biggest thing is make sure your board is much longer than the snake uh, skin you have because you're going to stretch it this way and this way. So uh, you don't want the thing coming over the side. Uh, all right. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks. Good luck with your snake skins. And um, that's all I got. Thank you guys.